Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here to share with you my update for Turn and Burn. It's been two months. I'm so excited. This is always a video that I'm like, oh, I have to pull all those items out to, and to film. It takes forever. And it's a long video as it is. But I love going through all the stuff that I finished. So it's, you know, two edged sword. So Ziggy is here, but he is being shy. Hey, come here. Okay, whatever. So for Turn and Burn, if this is your first time here, hello, welcome. I like to, this is a Fantastic Ladies Club project, by the way, is created by Jessica. And I like to focus on my deluxe sized beauty samples, you know, like deluxe sizes, not full sizes, as well as my deluxe, my foil samples and my perfume samples. So what I like to do is I like to work on these items throughout the month and try to finish them and roll them in whenever I can. I, for my deluxe size samples, I have a queue. I pull anywhere between 20, 20, 25 foil samples, or I like to have them kind of going that many going at once. And then I work on around 10 perfume samples. So I'm going to leave timestamps down below so you can hop to a specific section if you'd like. But we are going to start with my beauty body care samples. And I'm going to start with the things that I finished. So I have 10 items I finished. This is in two months. So 10 items in two months. So let me share with you what I finished. Now the first five are from items I was working on previously. The first one is this Skylar Perfume and Warm Spirit. This scent notes for this were Aged Plum Vanilla Bean Warm Amber. This was beautiful. I loved this. I don't think you can buy it anymore, but I totally would because I loved it. Next, I have the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm in Warm Vanilla Chai. This was part of their trio last holiday season, 2023. This cleanser is amazing. I don't like the scent. It's a little bit too chai -y. Yeah, this one is one of the more scented cleansers that I've tried from these like holiday sets. And of course it's the scent that I don't like. <laughs> so I, if this came in, came out as a full size, I would not purchase it. Next I have by Bobby Brown, the Remedies Skin Moisture Solution. This is a small little vial of product. It had, I don't know, how much did this have in it? two mils. So it did not take very long to finish. This is more of like a hydrating serum. It's fine, but I feel like I can get similar hydrating serums and I don't know the price point of this one. I have no idea. I know I calculated it for my empties, but that's pretty much all I know. <laughs> From Peach and Lily, I have the Retinol for All Renewing Serum. This is fine. I don't feel like I need retinol that's over the counter. I prefer my prescription strength, so I would not repurchase that. I also have the Elemis Superfood Sika Calm Cleansing Foam. Not a favorite. I actually did not like this at all. Hi. You're going to say hi, Milo? Ziggy's going to get jealous. Hi, pretty boy. Oh, you're parading for the camera. Look at you. Yeah, this is too harsh for my skin type. I think if you, like if you're a teen, although I think this is very expensive, oily skin, I just, maybe if you have normal skin, I just felt like this was a little bit too stripping, so not a favorite. I have one more that I keep talking about potentially decluttering, and I think I'm gonna, because I didn't like it. Come here. Oh. my hugger. So those are the five items that I finished that were items I was working on. You going to go now for items from my queue. I have the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Multi Recovery Complex. This is a favorite serum of mine. I talk about it all the time. This had seven mils. So that is finished. I also finished by Estee Lauder, the Revitalizing Supreme. I can't read this. 
Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. This is five mils. This is a really lovely moisturizer. I did enjoy it. I have tons of samples of this, so I don't need to purchase it anytime soon. But if I saw it on sale, like half off during an Ulta beauty event or something, I would consider it. Let me see if I can get him to show you his... <laughs> Can you see his crossed eyes? They're very dark. What you looking at? <gasps> there we are, sweet boy. He's purring very, very loud. He lets me rub his belly. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Okay, next up I have the Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. I feel like they discontinued this. I think I mentioned this in my empties. I'm not 100% sure. This is a nice moisturizer. It's a great daytime moisturizer for me, but I don't go out of my way to purchase a product like this. I have by Laneige the Water Bank Moisture Cream. This did have a cap, but I lost it. <laughs> anyway, it's all finished. This was really nice. I love this moisturizer. I would purchase a full size of it. I quite enjoyed that. And the last item I finished, finally, is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. This is the unscented version. It's all done. This was a lovely moisturizer. I love this would and have repurchased okay moving on to the items i'm still working on these are items i was working on last month where is my hand cream you guys i had my hand cream here and i don't know where it went like where did it go it was right here well i am working on the skylar renewing hand cream in coral and I know I had it out here, but then whenever I pulled out my lights, it knocked a bunch of stuff over and now I don't know where it is. I'm like, it couldn't have gone far. <laughs> anyway, I'm still working on that. Then I have by Josie Marin, the 100% pure argan oil. And this one I use in my hair. Like I should have used it today, but I didn't. And I'm right there. So still have a ways to go with this. It's not something that's gonna go by fast. Then I have by Atelier Cologne, the Bohemian Orange, wait, no, this one, wait, <laughs> this is not the right one. Okay, Whew. I had to go hunting for this. This is the actual Atelier Cologne I'm working on in this project, which is Orange Sanguine. Uh, this was sitting in my travel bag, so that's how much is left. I'm going to focus on finishing this before the next update. And I did find my Skylar hand cream. This is really close to being done. That's how much is left. I, this is gonna be out before the next update. It's got to. It fell in my empties bag. That's where it went. All right, and the last item I'm still working on from the last update is May Lindstrom's The Blue Cocoon. I use this product every day, but I pull for my full size. This is my deluxe size that I travel with. So I'm probably not gonna finish this until end of June because that's the next time I know I'm traveling. I mean, I may travel before then, but that's the next time I know for sure I'm traveling. So those are all the items that I was working on previously. Now for the items I have pulled from my queue and that I have some progress on. From Philosophy, I have their Shower Gel and Amazing Grace. I have used just a little bit of this. Again, this was something I took traveling with me. So again, I don't think this is gonna get any love until I go on my beach trip this summer. Then I have the Laneige Moisturizing Cream Cleanser. I actually like this cleanser quite a bit. I would say it's a little bit too, maybe I just need to use less. I feel like there's a lot, like whenever I, I emulsify it a little bit with water and I feel like there's a lot of product on my skin. I don't feel like I get too much of this, but maybe I'm using too much. And if I used less, it wouldn't feel so intense. But I do like that. Like compared to the Algenist Rejuvenating Cleanser I'm using now, I prefer this one much, much more. Then from Nature Lab, I have this, what do they call this? 
Nature Lab Tokyo, the perfect shine clarifying scalp scalp scrub. I think I've used this like three or four times. I am not a fan of this. I feel like this is just for somebody who has curly hair that you really don't want to get dr like dry out too much. I feel like this is just too drying for me. I have one use left, so I'm just going to stick it out and finish it. <laughs> But it's not a favorite. I wouldn't repurchase that one. So those are all the items I was working on. Now for the items that are in my queue. I have by Skylar the Isle perfume. This is probably going to start getting some use over the next several months. I also have another perfume by Derek Lamb. This is 2AM Kiss, right? That's what it's called, 2AM Kiss. Yes, I love this perfume. It's probably more of a fall scent for me, but I can still get some use on it. Then I have by Sephora, the All Day Hydrator. This is a moisturizer, and I'm just working on so many moisturizers right now that this is not getting any, any love currently. From Clarence, I have the Bright Plus Advanced Brightening Dark Spot Targeting, targeting Serum. I haven't touched this. And then lastly, I have the Urban Skin RX Even Tone Cleansing Bar. So probably once I finish the Algenist cleanser, which is close, I'll move on to this. I feel like this would maybe even be a little bit drying. It's an interesting concept. It looks like this, like it's not an actual bar. It's weird. And then it comes with this weird sponge. <laughs> so we will see. Now there are two items that I have misplaced. I have no idea where they are. Lancome's Advanced Genifique Repairing Night Cream, no idea, and the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Wash. I have no idea where they are. They'll turn up eventually, I think. So those are all the items I am working on and that I have in my queue. So I think what I'm going to do is I have these two that are waiting in the wings because I've got this one and one other perfume I'm working on that are deluxe sizes. And then this one, I'm waiting for the Algenist. This one, and I'll, I'll count this one. So there's really two that I can pull in at any time. So I'm going to pull seven new products in because I can't find those. I don't know where those other two products are. So seven new products. Where'd all my cat? Oh, Ziggy got on the hamper. It's favorite spot. Okay, so now we're going to pull seven new items. Let me reduce the brightness here. And here we go. Seven new items. Number one. Sunday Riley B3 Nice. Nice. 10% Niacinamide Serum. Okay. And by the way, no more perfumes. And I think I'm okay with everything else right now. Number two. That's the one I'm working on now. Do I have another one? I may have another one. Another hand cream. Skylar Renewing Hand Cream and Coral. Okay. Another one. If I don't have another one, then I won't pull it in. But we'll see. <laughs> Molten Brown Bath and Shower Gel and Coastal Cypress and Sea Fennel. All right. That's three. Number four... The Herbivore Pink Cloud Soft Moisture Cream, 15 mil size. That's great, number four. Number five, right? That's right, right? <laughs> Rituals Instant Care Hand Lotion. All right, this is the last hand lotion. The Ritual of Ayurveda. That's a 70 mil size. Ooh. <laughs> number six. Oh, it's another perfume. I love that one, but no. Number six. Tatcha Super Restorative Day SPF 20. Okay. Is that a Tatcha or a Clarence? Now I'm confused. Number seven. Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter and Vanilla Fig. Oh, Lordy. I just finished one. All right, let me grab these items. I will be right back. Okay, I don't have another Skylar hand cream. 
So let's go back and pull, see what we get, one more. Dr. Dennis Gross, Alpha Beta Strength Daily Peels, five treatments. Oh, let's see if I have that. Okay, I have found everything. So we're going to start with this Molten Brown Shower Gel in Coastal Cypress and Sea Fennel. And this is a total of 50 mils, 1.7 ounces. Ooh, that is fresh. Anyway, there's that, wait, there's that one, if I can center. Next, I have by Josie Marin, the Whipped Argan Oil Ultra Hydrating Body Butter and Vanilla Fig. You guys, I don't know if I'm going to get to this until fall. I'm not going to lie. Just because it's a thicker and ultra moisturizing moisturizer. And I don't know if I need it right now. I have the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel. Now, these have three treatments. I don't have any other boxes that have five, so I may have just missed typed it into my spreadsheet, but this is three treatments, so we'll use that. I have the Rituals, the Rituals, Ritual of Ayurveda Instant Care Hand Lotion. This is a large size. It's 70 mils. This very well could be a full size, but we'll use it. <laughs> From Herbivore, I have the Pink Cloud Soft Moisture Cream. This one's a larger size. It's 15 mils. And then lastly, the Super Restorative Day Cream was not Tatcha. It was Clarins. I don't know what was going on with my spreadsheet. So I need to figure out what's going on there. But I did find the Clarins one. So we'll work on this. Another moisturizer. Okay, so that is everything for the beauty care sample section. I'm now going to move on to foil samples. Okay, we're going to go through the samples I have finished first. I'm going to start with like the actual like these kinds of samples. The first one I have is the Pharmacy Honey Halo. I love this one. One of my favorite moisturizers, so I would continue to purchase that. The Herbivore Moon Fruit 10% Bacuchial or 50% Bacuchial and Peptides Retinol Alternative Serum. This was fine, but again, I just prefer my retinoid. So, or retinol, whatever, my prescription stuff. So I would not purchase that. From Josie Marin, I have a, I have a whipped argan oil. This is an unscented. Took that with me traveling and used it up. Well, all of these are kind of the case, that case. The Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I love this one. From Pat McGrath, I used these two of her Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. So this is done. Then I have some blister packs from YSL. I believe this is YSL, the Touche Eclat Concealer in number 2.5. Finally finished that guy. I have, what was this? This is a foundation. This was the It Cosmetics Medium CC Cream. Or maybe this was medium. I think these were the same. So I think these were both It Cosmetics. Yeah, I had one in the Glow Tint, Glow Skin Tint and Light, and one it, of the It Cosmetics CC Cream and Medium. So I used those two. I did finish my Brow Pomade by ABH. This was in the color Dark Brown. I finished it. Yay! And then I have two lippies that I finished. The first one was this duo from Charlotte Tilbury. I had used Walk of Shame already, so I just needed to use this red carpet red. This was beautiful. It's a beautiful red. I would totally purchase that. And then I finished the Laura Mercier matte lipstick in the shade Ruthless. Oh, this was a challenge to finish. So those are all the items that I finished finished. I'm pretty sure I don't have anything else. Next up, I'm going to show you the things that are open and that I'm using. I'm still working on this NARS blush. This is the Inten Dual Intensity Blush in Panic. It is almost finished, you guys. <sighs> still working on it, though. Then I have this lip lippy from Clay de Poe. This is the Butte Liquid Lipstick in Delicious Dream. I have made a dent in this, but there's still plenty of product. It's a very thick 
lip product. In fact, I've hit like blister pan. I also have the Danessa Myricks Vision Flush Blush in Sweet Nectar. This one you do not need very much of. That is how much is left. It's starting to dry out just a little bit, so I might not be able to use it for very much longer. Um, when I tell you you do not need very much of this, it is so super pigmented. It doesn't look pigmented, but oof. I mean, you do not need much at all. <laughs> it is pigmented. And the last thing I am working on is I have this Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in the shade Medium. I don't really like this concealer. It's very thick, but you can see my progress there. So that's what I'm working on. So those are the three items that I have some progress on. Now moving to the items that I'm still, I haven't touched, that I haven't touched. From Sabon, I have the shower gel in Patchouli Lavender Vanilla. This will probably go with me on my next trip. From Skin FX, I have the Barrier Triple Lipid and Collagen Activating Serum. From, let's see, this is M61 Powerful Skin Care, the Power Glow Peel. I keep forgetting to use these. From Sabon, I have the Body Lotion in Starlet Bouquet. From Fresh, I have the Soy Face Cleanser. From L'Occitane, I have the Immortal Divine Cream. From Guerlain, I have the Abiel Royale Serum. Whoops. Okay. From Estee Lauder, I have the 2-in-1 Foam Cleanser. From Caudalie, I have the Vino Perfect Radiance Serum. From Sulwasu, the Concentrated Ginseng Renewing Cream. From Glam Glow, the Youth Mud Glow Stimulating Treatment. And then for makeup, I have by Kosas the, oh, what do they call this? Revealer Concealer in Porcelain Cool. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Canel. I should have started using that one. Another of the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in Light Medium. Ugh. From Kaja, the... Oh, they called this Cream and Cheek Color in Coral Souffle. I'm trying to finish that other one from Danessa Myricks first. I have by Rose Ink, the blush, uh, cream blush in Azalea. I think I'm missing a cream blush. I thought I had two from Danessa Myricks, but I'm not seeing it here. And then I have a Westman Atelier highlighter in the shade Lit. And then for lippies, I have four. I haven't touched, in, this is a fifth. So from YSL, I have the shade Illegal Rosy Nude. I don't remember what that formula is. I have this lip, clear lip product, the Agave Lip Balm from My Beauty. Maybe that's easier to say. From Urban Decay, I have the shade Firebird, their lipstick. And then another YSL product. This is the Rouge Voluped Shine. And I don't remember the name, or the, it's number 45, but I don't know the name of the shade. So, oh, and then I have one more, I'm sorry, one more makeup product. This is the YSL, YSL Touche Clot Radiance Awakening Foundation. And it's in this little contraption. So let me just see what I have here. I'm gonna pull in 10 new products and we're gonna do one lippy. We're gonna do one lippy. So let's do the lippy first. So here is my bag of lippy samples. Let's see what I get. Oh, okay, so from Shiseido, the Visionary Gel Lipstick, and there are two, I believe two shades remaining, yes. I have Cody Red and Streaming Ro Streaming Mauve. I'm going to pull in code. It's not. It's not Cody. It's Code Red. <laughs> I'm going to pull in Code Red. I recently used Streaming Mauve, so I'm it, like in a full size. I'm going to put that one back, and we're going to work on Code Red. Wow! I pulled another red lippy in. And then from my foil samples, we're going to pull ten. This is all that I have left in here, you guys. That's it. 
So 10 new samples. One, I knew it. Two, three, four, five, six, can't do two, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm just going to do one more for good measure. Eleven. Is that the Danessa Myricks? I'm not doing that one. I can't do cream cheek products right now. Okay, I'll just set that one aside. Let's just see what I got. So from NARS, I have this thing again. I'm working my way through this one. I have one item left in here. It is a concealer, so I will go ahead and grab this in the shade Marron Glacé. The last of it, you guys, this thing can finally go bye-bye. Wow. All right. Then I have a rose ink. Oh, I can't do this one either. This is a cream cheek product. I just can't do it right now. Can't do it. Next up, I have by Glow Recipe, the Watermelon Glow AHA Night Treatment. All right. Two from Sunday Riley. Oh, I didn't grab that Sunday Riley product. Oh, I need to go find that. Shoot. Sunday Riley 15% Vitamin C Brightening Serum. What was I thinking? And let's see. I did not pull this one first. I pulled the ABH one first. And this is the one that I haven't touched yet. <laughs> so let's pull the shade Medium Brown. I feel like it may be too dark, but that's what we're going to go with. So Medium Brown. Good Lord. I have goals on one more brow pencil this year. So I feel like I can, you know, work on these sporadically. When I have time, I work on this. When I don't have time, I use my pencil. So this is going off. So I'm not going to put that one back in yet because I got to go through the rest of this. I'm not doing this. The Westman Atelier. I can't do it. Jeez. So I have one, two. I can't do this. I have four so far. Number five is this my clarins remove so i have one left in here there were originally three of these so this is like an exfoliating powder let me get all this gunk off of here and so i will put this here and this is finito number six oh there's products in here okay number six is the cogendo aqua foundation and this is the shade number 113. Number seven is another foundation. This is from Liss. So I'm going to pull in the shade number TN3. Is that right? Yeah, TN3. And the these other two I am going to gift because I do not need these two. They're just not right for my skin tone. So that is going bye-bye. Ooh. Number eight is also not going to happen because it's this whipped cream pr cheek product. How did I end up with so many cream cheek products? Number eight is going to be another Cogendo foundation, the same shade, number 113. That's perfect. I can use those together to get a full face. So I need two more. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wait, what is this one? Because this one I can't use. Blush and glow. No. I'm going, to be, I'm going to end up with lip products and brow products and cheek products. One, two. Okay, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Foundation. This one has a bunch of shades. So I will probably use like these first four. So we'll do that. Then the last product I have is another oh this is a whipped argan oil face butter by josie marin so these that i pulled and can't use are going back in but let me show you guys so exciting that is all that is left in here i mean there's still enough for several months i'm not going to finish these anytime soon but wow Wow. <laughs> All right. Let me put the stuff away and we're going to walk through my perfume samples. Okay, friends, let's talk about the perfume samples. Now, I only finished one and I'm close to finishing another. So the one that I finished is the Ellis Brooklyn Perfume in Palo Santo. This is a really good mixer. I don't necessarily like it on its own. I think it's a little bit too masculine. But when you mix it with something that's super florally like this one, it works out really well. This is the My Burberry perfume. I don't like this, it's too floral. 
But you can see I'm almost finished with that. So I'm going to go ahead and roll in two new perfumes for those two. This is what else I'm working on. I keep dropping these. <laughs> the Ellis Brooklyn West perfume. I really do love this one. I have by Skylar Isle. Of course, I have that in a deluxe size in my deluxe size section. The Clean Lush Fleur. No, this is... I cannot read these. This is like light blue writing on clear glass. Yeah, this is Radiant Nectar. Then I have Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. From Floral Street, I have Electric Rhubarb. From Skylar, I have Willow. My hair is a hot mess today. From Clean, again, Reserve, I have Lush Fleur. And from Elizabeth and James Nirvana Bourbon. So I forgot to grab my little jar. I will be right back. Okay, we're going to pull from my little purple jar. And let's see if it's going to get two new perfumes. i got to go digging. See what we got. Okay, I have Versace Dylan Blue. And I have Tory Burch. Tory Burch. <laughs> I can't hold on to these. Plain old Tory Burch. So those are the two new perfume samples I'm working on. So I'm going to try to focus on perfume samples, although I've got, I think, a Nirvana white perfume that's in a project. I think it's in my throwback 30 that I need to hit my goal on by July. So I've got some other perfumes I'm working on, and I've got two in this project. No, one in this project that's almost finished. So we'll see. I've been somewhat lazy about putting on perfume lately. I just need to be better about doing it first thing in the morning. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.